tem a mudança. Ué? I do not know they made this game. Pretty good, yourself. I did awesome, thank you. You getting any help on anything today? No, I'm just kind of looking around. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Buddy. All right. Oh, I just picked this up. someone comes in, then I'd probably grab them. Oh shit! I just got that. for the turbo graphics. This is something I do not own.
There we go. Surprising. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Seek, Find, Play. Uh, this is going to be my Anaheim, San Diego trip that I took uh, over the week. Um, and this is going to be his uh, thrift store finds, so we're going to kind of combine them together. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I went out to San Diego, I went to one of the swap meets out there <coughs> at one of the uh, arenas. It was a smaller one of the ones that I really wanted to go to, but I was kind of limited on time. But I did find some cool stuff while I was there. So, first up, I picked up... Each of these were a dollar. I just broke this shit, dude. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, and that is uh, In the Zone 98, All Star Baseball 2001, uh, Madden 2002. He loves sports games. Yeah. And I also picked up Madden 99, but I forgot that I actually owned it. And then from the same lady, I didn't know this actually existed, hmm. the Simpsons Skateboarding. So she wanted oh, five cool. bucks for this, so. I thought, well, I'm a big Simpsons fan, so I was really, I, I didn't mind paying for that. And then, um, <coughs> found this guy, he was selling some Game Boy games. Uh, I didn't have too much stuff, I went ahead and picked up a couple things, uh, three of them for ten bucks. Uh, Tiny Toons Wacky Sports. Of course, he thought this thing was like rare, I don't know why. But I'm like, okay. Um, Road Rash, for the Game Boy Color. And then uh, Wolverine's Revenge, for the uh, DS. I just picked this up because he said he'll do three for ten, so and now it's broken. And then I picked up uh, actually this was a pretty cool find, uh, Game Genie for a buck. Uh, oh, this wow. guy had a huge table just full of stuff that was a dollar. I confirmed with him he wanted a dollar for it, so picked it up. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a book, but you know the internet's out now, so <laughs> I think I'll be able to find the the codes for it. And then I picked this up for five bucks, complete in box, NFL quarterback club, 98. So a lot of sports games, um, it is what it is. You know, I, I didn't have a lot of those games or any of the games besides not, uh, Madden 99. I also picked up, I didn't bring with me, unfortunately, a uh, Rock'em Sock'em Mortal Kombat that had Goro and Raiden. Uh, the guy wanted eight, I talked him down to seven. The only problem is it's missing Raiden's hat. But whatever, it's still pretty awesome, it looks pretty cool, so I've never seen it before, I didn't even know it existed, so I was like, why not? Pretty awesome. So that was my swap meet while I was in San Diego. <laughs> Alright, so I'll start off with some of, all I did was thrift stores, um, didn't really have time to do swap meets or like garage sales and stuff, but I did pick up a lot of cool stuff. So we'll start it off with uh, the handheld stuff. Um, I didn't get footage of this, but I do have a picture. Um, I picked up these three games. I think they were $2.99. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Uh, they weren't a little savers baggy. Uh, and that's Super Mario 64 DS. Um, Final Fantasy 1 two, and 2. Uh, was it Dawn of Souls? Yeah. And uh, Metro Prime Hunters, the uh, first hunt. This is actually the demo version of Hunters. This is the one that came with... Uh, the original DS, right? I think it was the original, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So that was a pretty cool find. Uh, then I also found uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland and uh, Dragon Ball Z The Legend of Goku. Now, along with these um, handheld games, I found this thing. I have no idea what it is, so maybe if you guys can tell me. Uh, it's a DS memory expansion pack. I was just sitting, uh, I think I paid like, like a dollar for this. So, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I have no idea what it is, where it goes to, where it came from. But I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. So, yeah. Um, let's see. <coughs> I picked up two NES games at Same Savers, different day, of course. Um, 
I got Tiger Heli and uh, American Gladiators. So these were $2.99. Um, this was a Thursday though, so I did get the 25% off, which nice. is even more awesome. Um, also, uh, like always, check the magazine racks because these were 29 cents. <laughs> uh, this is Riven, uh, sequel to Mist, so it's Mist Part 2. Pretty awesome. PC. And uh, this was, I was really happy about Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. For 29 cents, man, this is this is probably one of my, my actually, next to uh, Majora's Mask, this is probably my, my, uh, favorite, favorite, uh, book find. <laughs> I'm, 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 it's, I'm a zombie mode right now. And, uh, let's see, uh, for the 64 NFL Blitz, uh, $2.99 at Savers as well. Uh, awesome let's game. see. Yeah, actually, that's one of the only sports games next to NBA Jam that I'll always grab. These were, um, let's see, let's do three more Savers finds. I uh, got uh, Kingdom Hearts, first one. Um, Spyro, Enter the Dragon. And why not Gran Turismo 4? I'm not the biggest Gran Turismo fan, uh, but I wasn't going to leave it there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I picked them up. Um, these were all Goodwill. Um, I got <laughs> NFL Blitz. Actually, yeah, NFL Blitz. Can you believe that was twenty bucks? Yeah, one point. That, that was actually probably yeah, fifty, sixty 20 bucks. Twenty bucks, out. man. So I got this for a dollar um, from the CD racks. Uh, cool Borders two and Cool Borders three. So this, this this is supposed to be like a pretty good series, kind of like the SSX ones. So I'll try them out. Pretty awesome. Anything else? I have a few more things. All right, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and go. I went to um, <coughs> I went to a couple game stores while I was out there. Um, I went to Fat Collectibles. I didn't find anything there while I was there. Um, and then I I can't remember the name of it. Um. It was next, not next to it, but it was like three minutes away from Fat Collectibles. Oh. It was a small little game store. The prices were actually pretty decent uh, compared to a lot of other places. So I didn't pick up much there, but I picked up three games. I forgot one at home, um, which was um, X Men, no, Spider Man and X Men for the Game Gear for a dollar. And then I picked up these because they looked cool and I don't have them. Uh, Dudes with Attitudes. And then. Uh, MIG-29. So, and it's pretty interesting. They have like a dip switch in the back that if it doesn't work in position A, you put position B. So, I was pretty excited about that. And of course, what is uh, the point of going out if you're not going to check Craigslist while you're out and about? <laughs> so I checked, checked Craigslist. Um, I was in Anaheim at the time, and Orange County isn't too far from there. And there was this guy that had a post that he had Mega Man 3. Um, and a couple other games, but what caught my eye was Mega Man 3 for five dollars. He said he had it, went down there, and he got rid of it, and he forgot to mention it. But he did mention that he had some other stuff that he was selling uh, on eBay, but he was willing to work with me because I went out there for Mega Man 3 and didn't have it. So I picked up uh, for five bucks each, um, Super Off Off Road. Um, Athena, which is a very interesting game, and this one was the score, in my opinion, and that's Contra, the yes. first one. So, and like, he, I cleaned it up really well. This thing, like, looked like crap, so, um, he said, because it's dirty and I drove out there, he'll do five bucks each. Then, he also had, which was another reason I went out there, but of course I was telling him that I went out there for one reason, but this was also there, Power Glove. Twenty bucks. Oh, yeah. It is dirty and disgusting, so I'm going to clean this <laughs> up, but I'm pretty excited about this. I've always wanted to have one. I'll probably never put it on, but it is pretty cool to display, so pretty excited about that. Wow. It was, uh, and he, man, this guy had tubs and tubs of Atari games, but he wanted way too much for him, so I was like, yeah, I'll just take the three games power glove and called it a day. Awesome. So that was my uh, trip to California. Cool, cool. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna finish it off with um, my Goodwill and the one Decorate <coughs> Industries uh, find that I've got. Um, 
This was all. Yeah, this was all Goodwill. Same. Actually, these two are good. Yeah. Yeah. These two are. Uh, these two are Goodwill. Uh, and that is uh, Metro Prime and Echoes, the dual disc thing. Uh, actually, tr Prime is missing, but this is the one you want really, because you can, you can, you can find Prime pretty easily. So this was pretty awesome. I think I paid uh, four bucks for this one. It was three ninety nine. Um, Goodwill prices their things weird, okay. uh, and I also got Shenmue 2, uh, as you can see, for three bucks. Uh, this is an awesome game. I need to clean it up because somebody decided to put a gnarly mustache on Kyo. <laughs> so, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if I if that'll come off, but I'll, I'm gonna give it a try. I still haven't even taken the sticker off or anything. So, uh, then Desert Industries, which is probably my favorite here in Las Vegas. Um, I always go there. It's on the way home from work, so I always I'm I'm there five four or five times a week a week. So, but they always have cool stuff. Uh, I got uh, SSX Tricky uh, for a dollar. Not to mention they also price things awesome. And then this one, if you guys have seen our FAQ videos, um, I think I mentioned it a lot. This is a huge game for me. I used to play this as a kid, like nonstop. And that is X-Men 2 Clone Wars. And look at the price. I mean, I, I cannot be happier to find this. It's complete in box. Um, the, only, the only issue with this is the label is peeled up a little bit on the side. But hey, that still looks pretty damn good. The manual is in there and everything. For a game like this, <clears throat> it's, I feel it's super hard to find because it's, it's all cardboard. It's like, a, it's like finding a... Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo or like a complete in box NES game that you used to own, you know, it's unless you go out and buy it, I think it's it's kinda hard to find. I just I guess I just lucked out going there so often. Um, so yeah, and it's shiny. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, probably a good week and a half worth of finds while this dude was on vacation. Um, not the best hauls, but then again I didn't, you know, I didn't go to garage sales and all that stuff, but I'm still pretty happy. We're still finding stuff at thrift stores. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. So. so all right, guys. Um, so, we're going to we're gonna have our next episode of Let's Finish. Mm -hmm. And uh, since it's Halloween time, we decided to do something uh, Halloween-ish, I guess. Yeah. So, we're going to probably do one of the best Castlevania games uh, on the system. And that mm -hmm. is um, Castlevania 2. Simon's Quest. Uh, yeah. So yeah, look out for that. So alright guys, uh, hope you enjoy it. Later. Oh fuck that, nobody likes Castlevania <laughs> 2. We're gonna do the original Castlevania. Much better game, and I won't, we won't want to kill ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look out for that. Alright guys, <laughs> later.